Okay, good morning. So some announce, so good morning, some announcements. It's the 25th of August, 2021. Um, it's a wonderful day, it's Wednesday. And I am back in my phone booth. And so today, love to have uh, everyone who's not part of a group, or we'd like to know exactly who's part of a group. Please send Yatiana a message. One person from each group, please send a message with who is in your group. So groups really should be formed uh, by now. So please send us a message and let us know um, who is in your group. If you are still stuck, please uh, let us know. So that's one announcement that we have. Um, we have the, <clears throat> uh, what was I going to say? The interim submissions are due this evening. So that's another important point. Uh, everyone knows what time they're due. Um, we are waiting to hear if we can get a Q&A with uh, the company that's helped us design this challenge. Two of that's three alums are working there. So waiting to hear back from them. Um, the other announcement that uh, the that's important uh, to us is about uh, due dates. So up till now, we have said, or rather due times, um, up till now, we have said that things which are late will be, um, don't submit late. We haven't been especially strict about that. So we are now, uh, we've had a look at how people are doing, and there's a number of um, people are tired and the exhortation to say rest has not always been uh, adhered to and people are getting tired. And we now believe that the most important work that the majority of people in the cohort can do is to make sure that at least once a week they rest. So what can we do to encourage that? So we are now going to make a change uh, to our late policy or we're going to enforce the late policy very strictly. Um, so it, it will be communicated, but um, or the more more details will be communicated. But if you are more than one hour, if you are more than twelve hours late, um, your submission won't be counted. Um, and if you are more than one hour late, then fifty you can get a maximum of fifty percent. So we think it's really, really, really important that everyone does an amazing job and learns as much as they can. That being said, we want to make sure that everyone rests. And we think that where the class is right now, um, taking a day off is actually much more impactful, will be better for everyone who is here in terms of their training and their progress than making more progress on Sundays or on Mondays. And we're seeing that the weeks are bleeding into each other. So that's, uh, that's the background there. So that would mean that <clears throat> the details will be communicated. We recognize that people are running different codes or they're submitting on GitHub. So we're going to come up with a really simple way just to make sure that people submit one link um, that we can check and there are no commits that are made after that. People who want to keep working on it separately, of course, it's your code, it's your project, you can keep working on it, but uh, we won't be evaluating any changes. We want people to start, finish, submit, rest, and then pick up the next one. So that's, uh, that's probably the largest announcement. Yeah, and then straight into the stand-up. How are we doing, guys? Happy to hear feedback on this uh, revised lateness policy. So who wants to go first? We, we got through a lot of people yesterday, which was great. Let's try and do the same thing today. What did you work on yesterday? What are you planning to do today? Any blockers? Michael, you're unmuted, so you can go ahead, please. <laughs> wow, okay. Good morning. Um, yesterday, uh, well, <clears throat> well, I was in a group and we were five, so I had to drop off and then get another group. And um, what we did in the other group was we, we tried looking at um, uh, how we can do feature reduction first, and then we will try and um, get the graphs for the causalities. So we've been able to do um, the and then the feature reduction, but we are actually um, trying to find a way where, because I think among us, we are having difficulties in actually understanding um, the, the theories and then the principles behind the causalities. And we, uh, I've actually reached out to the other group that I came from to see if they can give us a hand. So I'm waiting to hear from them. Probably they'll they have a meeting after the stand-up. 
and I would see if the other group can join and then we would have a discussion together and then uh, see how we can incorporate what they've learned and then what we also have at our end. So I think that is it from um, my end. So that's excellent. I'd love to hear that the groups are, are discussing. These discussions are really, really important. Um, if there are other groups who are making progress there, I'd love to see someone reach out to Michael and just uh, be willing to share the progress that they've made. Um, we talked yesterday about who are the people who feel comfortable on the the more math side of things. And we had Harriet, we had Steshi or Stella, we had Christian, and we had, um, there was one more person. Um, I can't remember exactly who it was right now, who had put their hands up and said, put their hand up and said that they feel comfortable. I think it was Mubarak. And so um, feel free to reach out to those people. Okay, sure. who's it? Yeah. I also wanted to, by the way, I forgot to mention this, uh, Thanks to Jakinda and to um, DJ Blaze and DJ Jakinda for putting the playlist together, which we used this morning. Um, who's up next? Another group? Love to hear from another group. Who's up next, guys? Let's use our time well. Just unmute. Let us know how you're doing. There's no. There's no problem. Just unmute and speak, please. Or put your hand up. And let's use our time well. Yeah, good morning, guys. Morning. Yeah. I've been doing well. And my progress, uh, I was trying to finalize the EDA and to go to the feature extraction so that I can start making graphs or closure graphs but the broker I, I'm, I'm facing a broker of accessing the google drive i mean google meet on my pc when i try to connect with people it keeps loading i don't know if anyone can know the reason why because when i access it here with my phone it works well but on my pc there is a kind of time delay I don't know why. Uh, I think you are muted. Sorry, I said you, maybe you can type that question on Rocket Chat and we can find a solution. My suggestion would be make sure you're using the right browser, but I'm sure somebody can help you. Yeah, if they, okay, I will do it. Yeah, let's type it on Rocket Chat so others can come together. Okay. Okay, so it sounds like you're making progress. Who wants to go next? Team Mucheka? I'm not pronouncing it properly, but I've heard about the power of Mucheka. You will even put a video up. So who's who's here from Team Mucheka? Silence. Does, does anyone want to speak? So guys, the point of the stand-up is you speak. But yeah, if anyone wants to type, please go ahead and type. But surely we must have people who are uh, who are interested. The whole point is just to come very quickly, discuss, uh, just to share what you worked on, what you're working on today, and then we bring everyone to the same level of information. If you'd like to type, please type. Otherwise, we'd like to go and hear from as many people as possible. So let's use let's use our time well. Barakat, thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, yeah, yesterday we had a meet with uh, our group, and we tried to discuss the concepts. Like we have a discussion earlier um, on Monday, I think, and then we we tried to figure out different resources and uh, like understanding different concepts, and we try to come together and share what we have learned from those resources. And I think we'll have a meeting and uh, we'll review the papers that we have done. And uh, so, like we have done the EDA part and now we are going to the future extraction and we have come up with a good way of like having a 
good understanding of the feature extraction and we need to work on it more and try to figure out like the quadrat graph parts and yeah this updates from my group Thank you. are you feeling on track uh yeah uh, like uh from the tasks that are that have been needed for from us for submission for today i think we are good to submit that one and but for the the rest of the things like uh, developing a, a good causal graph and understanding the concept might be hard for for us but we'll try to understand it okay who's up next so bethlehem is typed thank you so i don't want to have to call out names i'd love to hear everyone this is let's get ready for the world of work folks it means if you go to a team meeting and you're not ready to share what you're working on um people don't know what you're doing you need to develop this habit of saying this is what i'm working on even if you feel like it may not be as much as expected please let us develop this habit of being ready to spend one minute sharing what we've worked on mubarak everyone everyone morning okay yeah i'm from um, team Corsa. um yesterday we had a meeting and um, we discussed how we we're going to to do the work actually we had three uh, two meetings yesterday we, so the first one we tasked ourselves to go through the documents and the second one we discussed what we've been able to learn by going through the documents and Okay, but meetings are not necessarily progress. So, in terms meet. of the work that you got done. Okay, so now we've been able to do um, our EDL, EDA, and today we want to proceed into the tax two, I mean, the second aspect of the, the, the challenge, which is uh, the course I influence itself. So, so far, that's what we've been able to do. Um. Okay, sounds good. Who's up next? Kumbani? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, good morning. Morning. As well, yesterday, I met with my group members. We had our first meeting. And uh, during the meeting, we found out that most of, like, some of the group members have already done the EDA, and uh, some are still working on it. So we decided to take a break, and then some, for some to finish the EDA, and then I think today we'll meet to continue with the casual call, the causality. And we also had a brief explanation what causality is. Stacey had to explain it to us. So, yeah, that's it. Excellent. Perfect update. Thanks, Fumbani. Who's up next? Let's develop the habit, everybody. <clears throat> Be ready to always share a one-minute update on what you're working on. If you're not ready to share that here, what's going to? we want to get you ready for the world of work. Not now. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Vera. And everybody. Morning. Uh, yesterday we had our first uh, uh, group meeting, and uh, on the progress side, uh, we have we are working on the EDA, and we will finish EDA today. Also, uh, one of our group members started the machine learning training, and he also finished it. So we will be working on the information mission and EDA today, and we'll continue on the others tomorrow. Great. Next? Who wants to go next? So I'd love to see a queue of hands raised. We have all these lovely tools. Put your hand up, you go next. Straight system. Get used to one hour, get used to one minute updates. Chakinda? Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, for my group, uh, we, we've been meeting. We actually have been going through the resources that we have and trying to explain to each other what has been happening. Uh, we have a collaborative uh, notebook that we are, we, we, we are doing the EDA part and uh, we are on track to submit the first submission today. So uh, the only part is trying to figure out the next part and uh, the graphs and uh, the feature selection part. So, yeah. 
-hmm. Okay. Who's up next? Professor Whitlam. Good morning, Aaron and everyone. Morning. So, uh, not like not like is on, on the same group. So most of uh, the update is on him side, but uh, uh, I've been doing on the interim report also, and also the ADA. I think we're gonna have a meeting today also. I think um, Bahagu and um, one of our teammates also worked on the email part. So. We'll, we'll discuss more and I think we're going to submit on time today. Yeah. <clears throat> right. You must submit on time. Submit what you have and then work on what's next. So as mentioned, for anyone who came late, and I'll make an announcement again, we're going to tighten up the submission uh, time policy to make sure everyone stays healthy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got. Let's keep going. Who's up next? You can put your hands up and we can cue the hand raising. I'll show you. Look at that, my hand is raised. Beautiful, it works. I see some hands raised. If I was DJ Blaze, I could say it in like a DJ voice. It's like hype voices. Put your hands in the air. There you go. Yeah, good morning, Arun and trainees. Morning. So uh, pretty much my status is as uh, quite similar with my other trainees, my other friends in here. I have tried to do some ADA part and I, I am struggling to do how to do the causal uh, graph part. And uh, I'm, uh, things are getting a bit, just a bit clearer, but not uh, good enough though. And uh, I think uh, we had a kind of a session where one, uh, person gets get different kind of questions and do we have that session today I, i'm waiting for that eagerly the q a <clears throat> wonderful thank you for asking so then let's ask for it um so i beg you please write in all week seven tag uh Yabubel, malet kevin cindy and say i'd love to have a q a session today when can we have that sure i'll do all this so and so this is part of getting ready to work in a team. Um, sometimes it's hard to know where people are. And so this communication is good to say, look, I, I can work more efficiently if I get a bit of guidance. So can I have a little bit of your time? Perfect. Ask for it. So please type it up and then we'll see when I'm sure we will be able to schedule one today. I don't know exactly when, but put it out there and then we'll find time to schedule that today. Who's next? Uh, can I say something here? Of course. I was expecting that uh, this like question and answer session was not like technical questions, you know, it's just so that we, you know, we know each other in depth. So we pick one training here and we ask random questions, so personal and personal. Yeah, ah, the, a the AMA session. Yes. Yeah. Not, ah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... Um... Yeah, I, so Cindy will make an announcement on that. I think last yesterday we had, um, we Monday we had a technical problem, yesterday we had a scheduling problem, today we may have a scheduling problem as well, but Cindy will make an announcement on that. But our plan is to do it every day. But I think we, I'm the only one who's gone so far, but absolutely. Uh, Cindy, do you wanna make an announcement? Are you here? I am. Uh... Thank you so much for raising that up. And I will say I have been feeling very guilty because this is something that we have wanted to do since Monday. And I was personally very excited for it. However, life does happen from time to time. So we will be holding that session during today's chit chat window from uh, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. UTC. And uh, I don't know if Michael Daco is here on the hot seat. Uh, we can start with Michael Daco, or you guys can help us set the tone of what you want a session like that to be like, okay? But uh, the kind of feedback that we got from a lot of people is that 
they want to you guys want to know each other in in more ways so that you can feel closer and whatever we can do to facilitate that we are more than happy to to do it so 12 p.m today utc time we will see you in this same link and uh, we'll do it and i'm excited come with those questions and an open heart and an open mind okay <clears throat> thanks for the up next Michael's ready. He's ready for your questions. So who's up next, guys? Come on. Please, love to hear from as many people as possible. Kate? Morning. Um, so yesterday, my group and I met for the first time in the evening. Um, we were able to go through our EDA project, I mean, our EDA notebooks, and just kind of get uh, an idea on what we're supposed to do for the causality graph. So that's where we're at. Today, we're working on the interim PDF and also the causality graph as well. Great. <clears throat> Who's up next? So I think we have time for four more people. So let's get four hands up in the air. I feel like one of these guys at the market who's trying to sell tomatoes or something. And I, I normally I would keep lowering the price, but I can't lower the price of asking people to speak. <laughs> Can I get four people, please? Four hands in the air. This is good practice. When you enter the world of work, you need to be able to explain what you're working on in brief. It's the whole point of a stand up. It's not something we invented. This is Agile Methodology 101. No, nobody wants to explain what. Mizan? Thank you, Mizan. Waiting for three more hands to go up, but Mizan, please go ahead. <clears throat> Mizan, are you there? No, Mizan has a connection problem or is not here. Okay, Yul's going to write. Um, oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Okay, sorry. Uh, for the past uh, two days, yeah, I, I have faced uh, some problems because of uh, some personal problems. Because of that, I can't engage myself with uh, the community properly. So uh, <clears throat> since yesterday, uh, I didn't form any group. But uh, with the help of uh, Yati, uh, now I can form a group with BTL and Chisai and other teammates. Now uh, I am focused on my work, and uh, yesterday uh, I am trying to do the, the EDA part. That's my status. Okay, thank you. So Michael, well understood, um, but it you can still provide an update and say I'm struggling, and this is the area that I'm struggling in. Um, it's always, you will be faced with challenging moments in the world of work, so one has to get used to also saying I'm facing a challenge. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, we have Rachel who's put her hand up and then we have one more person after that. So Rachel, go ahead. Okay, good morning. Morning. Uh, I just want to share you uh, my progress so far. I've understood about the casual things, uh, the remaining things to implement them. Uh, I've been able to extract data from Kegu and doing some exploration on them. Yeah, that's my progress. Thank you. Thank you. Last person who wants to go last. Saba. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Uh, we had a meeting in groups yesterday, and we tried to figure out what does mean casual graph and the statics what we need that to implement. And we finished the pre-process part, and we will continue the casual and statics part after the stand-up. That's our progress. Super. Thank you. It's a great update. Thank you. 
Um, so just to, <clears throat> just to wrap up the stand-up part. Uh, so, OK, yeah, go ahead. With that title of the Abu It's, it's yeah. me, no, I mean, I, I think it's, you, I can go on afterwards, like if you're, because you've started saying something. Yeah, I just wanted to reiterate the, uh, maybe you can also say something about the, the lateness. So over yeah. to you. OK, no, great. I, I mean, I think it's for those people who are, we're here from the beginning you probably understand that um we want really you to be healthy and there's no point if you don't end up like in the big in the, at the end with full health and kind of ready to to work so ready for work not only physically not only mentally but also physically right so in that spirit we're kind of really talking about it it's like because some of you probably overwork which is great, you know, ideally, but that's, you know, if you cross the threshold, there is always like the going down and it's it's not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna learn more and which is not what we want. At the same time, also physically, whatever, you know, if you are healthy, it's, it's good for everyone, for you, for us, for the company that you're gonna work, for your family, everything, right? So in that spirit, we tried, like one of the things that we are gonna try now is that really, you will create um, when you submit the, the GitHub link. So you should always just final the one that you're submitting is in your master's branch, in your master or main branch. And then it's, I think, the main branch. So the main branch. And then we are going to use that one. So you may, whatever you, you're going to do afterwards, we consider it as late. So after, for example, Saturday, the kind of deadline. So if anything, one hour after, it's fine, but anything after that would be like, I think for, I, I, I don't may, you may iterate what is like the schedule, but we kind of take down one such that on Sunday, you basically, you know, whatever you contribute, we will not take it into account. So that means whatever you submit after that, it's actually disqualify you uh, and you will get more like late um, submission. So because the Google class doesn't let us know you know, when we grade it, we want to see also where the, you know, whether you have been working on Sunday. So this is more, much more of not, you know, it's not we don't like that you work. It's not that we don't like that you want to submit like a very good work. I think we actually love that. But but I think it's it's kind of we realize I think it may not overall, it may not um, may not be good if you are not taking rest. So for that reason, we're kind of taking that measure. So what I think that's if it's not clear again, um, you can ask and we can explain it further. But what I want to say is also just on these updates. So what is the, the, the you know, the, there is this philosophy of like this stand-up, usually it comes from this agile framework with an agile, there's sprint, sprint cycles, and then we, our sprint cycle is one week. So sprint means like you have like a clear target you want to arrive, like that you wrote, like some kind of the backlogs, they're called the kind of tasks that you, you want to do, and then, they become part of the sprint. And then at the, at the end of the sprint, which in our case is one week, you basically try to see how much you complete. So that's why in this week, for example, we asked you to list down through the GitHub issues, for example, or other parts, the things that you want to do. It's like the kind of tasks that needs to be done to complete. So the more you start breaking tasks and write them, when you update, then you can say like, what is completed? So that basically you can say like, okay, task X, Y, Z, I have done them and I'm on time. But to know even how you are on time, you know, if it's related to your plan, it's even better. So for example, team formation, when do you, you know, of course there is communication gap. So we're kind of, you know, sometimes um, doing it a little bit, uh, not very strict, but what is more important, what I want you to, to have that in mind is that it's important if you could just relate it to the kind of plan that you have, your update. So I was planning to arrive here, because X, Y, Z was my plan or my kind of like, you know, tasks that I thought we will do. And those are completed, those are not completed, but I'm on time or I need to probably work a little bit more or I need to talk to people a little bit more to do that. So if you get that kind of mentality, as I think every time we stress, it's the mentality that you really will take it further. So we will repeat again and again now until the end of the, you know, the 12 weeks on this kind of mental set, but just get prepared. So whenever you come here, kind of, you know, you can see like your board 
So in this case, your board probably are GitHub issues, what are completed and what are not completed. And that basically becomes one, one you know, an update, just the one week update. Just I wanted to add on that part. So yeah, thanks. OK, <clears throat> thanks, everyone. So that's the stand up. As uh, mentioned, the AMA with Michael Jarko uh, will happen today, 12, 12 UTC. Thanks, everyone. Have a lovely day. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye.